G'day everybody, it's me again. Bit of an update on the uh, Arduino and capacitor bank setup. Um, I've pretty much got all the wiring prototyped out here. I have to neaten it up when it goes into a box of course, but it's working, I like it. Um, I'm now hooked up to the big cat bank. I've got a couple of uh, 25 watt microwave light bulbs in series as a, uh, as a, uh, a load for draining the caps. There's a uh, contactor there which uh, connects that up. Um, Arduino's all hooked up. And uh, I will show you a little quick demo here of the uh, exercise routine to uh, exercise the caps or reform them. So I'll just push that lower command button there. Charge to 50 volts, wait a couple of seconds, start discharging. Now while that discharge is all waffle, um, that's the relay board there that uh, drives uh, firstly that relay there which uh, turns on the uh, charging circuit which obviously charges the caps and then there's that relay over there which uh, well the contactor I should say 12 volt as well which turns on the lights um, as the load for the bank now we'll see here when that gets down to 10 volt it'll charge it up to 100 and then start draining again if you see at 100 volts we get a little bit of glow. Now, it still takes some time to do this, but uh, I'd say that that's quite neat. I'm very happy with the result so far. I figured I'm going to be using a 100 milliamp fuse and a xenodiode for protection on that uh, that uh, divider there. So if the uh, something goes wrong in the divider, rather than blowing out the Arduino, the uh, xenodiode will clamp at 5 volts and then if too much current tries to flow it will uh, blow the 100 milliamp fused. Uh, I think that's well within a reasonable amount to uh, protect the uh, Arduino and uh, its, its uh, input output port. Uh, actually that's just an analog input so that's about to uh, hit 150 volts exercise. So you see how the exercise machine works, so I'll reset the Arduino so we can start again and uh, we'll charge it up all the way by pressing the charge command. That's approximately 10,000 microfarads at 400 volts. Damn, the last couple of volts always seem to take the longest. It's just battery going down, I might not even get there. <laughs> well, that'd just be embarrassing, wouldn't it? I have had it out here exercising for a little while, the battery might be down a little bit. There we go, 400 volts. Oh, still needs a bit more exercise, dropping a bit fast. All right, now we'll discharge that one. Give the discharge command out through the two lamps. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Anyway, what was meant to be a quick update on the uh, Arduino and Cat Bank stuff has turned a bit, a bit of a longer waffle, but I'm sure you guys will appreciate it. Um, a fair bit of thought and work has gone into this. Um, Believe it or not, the Arduino code was kind of one of the easiest bits, and I will make it available for everybody once it's finished. Um, I won't be giving circuit diagrams or anything else to, for 400 volts, you're going to zap yourself, but I don't mind giving out the code because then people can figure out the rest themselves. The uh, MOSFETs don't get any heat in them whatsoever. Um, I had to replace the fast diode bridge with a proper bridge rectifier, that's a 1 megahertz bridge rectifier because uh, that's 50 amp and the UF4007 is a 1 amp each and I blew the guts out of them. So, uh, yeah. Put that back onto exercise. Uh oh. There we go. So that will now exercise them for the next hour or so, while, or two hours while this uploads I guess. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's it. A little bit of progress. If anybody's got any uh, suggestions, I'd love to hear it. And even though it looks a little messy, messy, 
it is safe. It is. It's got a circuit breaker on it, five amp breaker. Um, the charging circuit's got its own 15 amp fuse, which will well that'll go before the fuse does. Um, like I said, the only thing that has to be done is to completely isolate or at least protect the Arduino from any spikes or anything like that. Um, and right now the Arduino is running off a uh, USB wall wart. Hope I've got everything covered there. Yeah, I've got everything covered, I think. Except for a boom. No boom tonight. Boom comes after I finish this. <laughs> anyway, I'm going inside now. Thanks for watching.